That's crazy. Sitting on a dock. Sitting on a dock for a little Smart? Uh, it's just some, I've never seen anything. How would you work it? Drive, ready. There you go. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Everyone's safe back there? Okay. Go buckle in. <laughs> we are off, and our plan is to drive. Okay. Safety first. How do you turn the air conditioning a little bit down so that it sounds so loud in the video? Climb it. Down. The smart car is really getting dashed. We love a guy who has a, an easy joke, an easy jab. Goes for the easy ones. It's a good one. You don't get a kiss after making fun of my intelligence twice now. Now we're off. Our plan is to grocery shop when we get to our exit. Are we gonna eat later tonight? We got a two and a half hour drive through Norway. We're staying in a ski resort. Yeah, it's nice to see you with no snow though. So far, super green. Massive rain that came down when we landed. It's like the trees were sideways. The rattle place got flooded. Where were the sideways trees? On the runway. Oh. Yeah, the rental, I did get some footage of the flooded rental car. You think that they would have it handled because they have a lot of weather here, but anyway, that's all for now. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't kiss. Oh, he's amazing, yeah. Nachos and snacks. There goes nothing. that we just ate really fast. We had pizza, it was really good. It's really good. The store was a success, although the lady at the grocery store like gave us the dirtiest looks because we bought so much food, but overall it was pretty good. I don't think they speak English here. In um, Stockholm, they spoke it everywhere. Not really convinced that they do here yet, but we also just encountered one at the airport they did. Yeah. At the car rental place, but not in this little ski town grocery store. But so far so good. We have so much laundry over there. That's what a hotel for 10 days will do to you. And it's midnight right now, so I think it's time to go to bed soon. And we will show you the place tomorrow. You gonna eat that? You can have it. morning in Norway. This guy's thriving. Maybe a little sleepy still.
I'm not gonna go out there and join in, but this is the perfect little setup for a little work retreat, which it's supposed to rain like 100% of the time we're here. So hopefully we can explore a bit, but this is the perfect cozy cabin if we can't explore. Finally stopped raining. We gotta go for a walk. Ash is coming out here, she's seeing me videoing. Oh, I just gave it an update. I heard you. Continue. Come on. I don't wanna do this by myself. Oh, you sounded so excited. Oh no. It's finally stopped raining. I think that it's coming back to us though. This is what happened last time. All the fog rolled in over the valley and then we were in a rain cloud. And then it suddenly just disappeared and it looks like it's coming back. Here it comes. It's going, like you can see how fast it's going. <laughs> Aside from the fact that it's a swamp, it's like spongy. Like all the ground is, it's like fake ground. It's very weird. Spongy, SpongeBob SquarePants. Look at like, nope, not a real, not a real mound. Fake mound, fake mound. <laughs> Doing a little hiking. Maybe we maybe we stop here. Yeah. It was pretty. We randomly drove by this yesterday and it looks so cute. So we have to go in because it's like the most aesthetic looking home store in truly the middle of Norway. So we're going to check it out. Got a nice morning. Good morning. I can't really smile now. Just doing some under eye masks necessary for girls with puffy eyes like me. These are by James, I think. James. I don't know, I'll link them below. They're actually really nice. You have to put them in the fridge so that they're cooling. Just one of those little morning luxuries that you can't miss in the morning, you know? Beautiful, just like breakfast in an open fridge. I left the fridge open. Breakfast time, we've got bacon going. We're gonna do bacon, eggs, avocado, onions. Mm. We do not have a toaster though, so we have to use the oven, which is fine. Slightly west side, right? Oslo is on the east side, Bergen is on the left side, and we're right in the, kind of in the middle. I would say more to the, the east side, but I would call oh. it the middle at a ski resort in. It's a crazy name. Well, the town is like Nesbin, but the, the street, I'm gonna type it here so you can see what it is and try, try and pronounce it. I feel like Norwegians took all the letters that they knew and they just like threw it on the ground. They're like, okay, that's a really good name, that. And then that, like, they went with it. So it's very difficult to say a lot of the things, but we're having a really fun time trying. A lot of people speak English in Scandinavia. Most people, I would say. So that's a huge help. But today we are doing a content day. Yesterday was like an admin day, catch up after Sweden, because you were a bit, you were working like in the field, field week. 
field we field days. I think we got a, sh I don't even know. I don't think I did. We've, we've done so much laundry in the last 24 to 40 hours. This house has heated floors in it and it's, we've made like the bathroom where the laundry is like a little sauna. And so all the clothes are drying really fast, but being in a hotel room for 10 days really did, took a toll on us. We're really used to having washers everywhere we go, which is why we do Airbnb route. So it was a, it was a bit of a learning curve to be washing our necessities in the hotel sink to get us through and then we have like six massive loads of laundry here. So it's nice to get back on track on every on every level. And now we're planning out our last four stops. We have a, a, just a little over a month to go but the way it breaks down is really just like three and a half, four weeks that we have free left because we're gonna be in London at the end of our trip for sure and we already have that set aside mostly because of the visa dates or the lack thereof visa. Look at this intense oh, this mood change. Um, but we're really excited. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna go to Flom. We're gonna go on a sauna on the fjord. A floating sauna. And uh, we'll take you all through that. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what we mean by the heated floor. So all this tile is nice and hot and Brennan turned up the bathroom floor all the way so that we could dry our jeans and it's basically like 10 degrees warmer in here because of the heated floor. So it's our little drying room. We're going on an adventure. Yeah. Brennan went and inspected this area that he thought was a park earlier. Not a park. It's not a park, but there's a lot of pretty things. So we are going out with a few things that we might want to shoot. And we have three and a half hours before I have my very first call with a new life coach, which I'm very excited about. So we're going to take use of this great weather because it was supposed to be raining today and see what see what we can get into. We have Cheers our, to that. Our iced coffees to go. We're addicted. We were talking yesterday about how we like we could be drinking coffee 24 seven. That's how much we love it. Probably not healthy. But yeah, I'm wondering if we should maybe do a detox when we get back. Oh, Why is this shut? Who they're locked goats. it? Oh, it is always. Okay, so there's this little thing. I have, actually, this is my job, so you can just come with me. So when we first checked in, we were like, oh, maybe they shut this because it's super late and like the community just likes this little gate shut. But then yesterday, as we were exploring, we realized it's probably just to keep the goats out. So he drives over it and then I put it back. And it's like, you know, very small, but must be effective enough for them to use it to keep the little goats out. All right, back on the ammo. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least Hello. to stay alive And the mm -hmm. time that we share okay. Makes it Hello. horrifying okay. Got this place <laughs> on You're really cute Do you feel like we got oh, something You look really scared <laughs> And I saw you Road trip. Just packing our lunch. Made some sandwiches and gonna bring some snacks. Mango, rice cakes, peanut butter, which I accidentally bought crunchy. Yes. My mother in law would be really happy about that. Your husband's really happy about that. Snacks. 
essential. Fruit mix, some sardines, and crackers. All the non-perishables that we have with us, and some peaches. Should I really bring the Swedish candy? It's the best candy ever. Oh, and some mustard for the sandwiches. I think that's good. road trip almost are you ready yeah you look cute oh, thanks <laughs> Stop. You can't even tell. This doesn't even look like water. It doesn't do it justice. <laughs> That's crazy. Stand on dock. That's wild. <laughs> Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Look at people cleaning that room in their yellow like hazmat suits. <sighs> oh, maybe this is just their fashion jacket of joy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Unfortunately. You're surrounded by tourists. Mm, looks good. Sauna time. We loitered long enough. Sauna time. <laughs> happy how he did it even though the water, the water was freezing freezing 15 degrees celsius and a little temperature there where uh, floating in the water it's okay i believe you um okay where ah where that looks cold Cold plunge into a sauna. Best therapy. Yeah, that was With nice. With the fjord. 
We're just gonna pretend like, whoa, that that guy isn't there. That was a big success. I'm so happy that we did that. Huge success. That was Definitely recommend. I think that we kind of went into it and we were like, oh, should we have booked this? Looks kind of lame, looks kind of small. Definitely book it. Definitely book it. It was super amazing. We saw our friends do it in Stockholm uh, and it looked unbelievable and they jumped off the top. They got an Airbnb though, right? I think it They was. had an Airbnb with a floating sauna. I highly recommend looking yeah, that's that up. That'd be amazing. But if you don't find that, then this is the next best thing. Yeah, have to do it in the fjord with the cruise ship. Let's just block that out. Yeah. Americano espresso, something called Curiosity Cola. It looks okay. Looks okay. It doesn't look like the cutest cafe I've ever seen, but. All right. We're open Monday to Sunday, from 10 to 17. Monday, Tuesdays off, like you used to have. Nice. Coffee time. I feel like I need to, oh. I was gonna say. What are gonna say? I feel like I need to detox from caffeine simply because I wake up every morning with a headache if it's too late. And I haven't had alcohol all week, so I know I'm not like waking up with a hangover, but that's what it feels like, kind of. I feel like that means I need to start to wean off of caffeine. Good luck. <laughs> Hold that thought. to use the restroom and Brennan found we chocolate chocolate and we got surge but urge. it's an imposter <laughs> oh geez because they don't have an s urge urge so we're gonna do a taste test because this is a drink from childhood I don't know I feel like I tried it maybe once I used but... to drink surge all the time I think they still have it in the states I think it came back what do you this think? tastes exactly like it it's mm. like it's Mountain Dew now yellow but it's better mm. What do you think? Um, yeah, I give it's it a, a soda. I give it like a four a out ten. of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I would never want to drink this now in my life, but oh, our friend. We're going to Oslo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but you can have this anyway because okay. uh, you probably have the. I think we have the best. Well, maybe the second best the sushi. Oh, this really? is your restaurant? Ma 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 this is the restaurant. That... Amazing. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely hold on look at it. Yeah. And when thank we come you. back, we have to go. We love sushi. We love sushi. Mm -hmm. We are actually, there, there is a hotel, uh, something like uh, 15 miles from uh, from where we are based. Yep. Okay. And then we knew that, uh, that I mean, this is 35 kilometers from here. And uh, we, we knew that this guy was buying a special one of the uh, sushi dishes. Yeah. And then I came, I, uh, this is a bit before I rented this place here. And I was buying um, some vegetables and I came back from the town and um, my wife said, Yeah, hey, you know, he, the long one, he buys, he buys this and this sushi. He said he had a hotel. Okay. <laughs> uh, and he said, can we make sushi for his... Um, the, 
Uh, Julebor. Julebor is before Christmas. They, okay. they oh yeah, okay. All the businesses go for all the all the employees go and fun. out for one evening. Okay, yeah. How fun. Okay, yeah. yeah. And dance, and, you know. Yeah. yeah. They come from Oslo to that place because they're only 40 kilometers from Oslo, and it has 300 um, rooms, so you oh, can wow. have probably have 600 people in the hotel. Wow. This is the hotel that received all the young ones when the, when the shooting was. Uh, it's on very close to where he. Oh wow. Know, oh really? Shoot, yeah. Uh, 80 people. Yeah. Know. Wow. Yeah. That's only in Hønefoss, close to. Okay. If you were driving for Hønefoss, you would have actually pass that island. Wow. Um, and I said. And she said, uh, I said, what hotel then? Sundvold. Sundvold? <laughs> because I knew. Yeah, you knew. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. So then they, they wanted you to make that much food? And then he said, she said, shall we do it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> uh, uh, 50 years. Uh, um, what? Who? I said, me. I said, oh. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm very, very glad for this order, but you have a. I, I have been to your hotel. They have shown me around 30 people in the kitchen. You can have a capacity of 1,500 people, good food. So, why, 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 why are yes, here? Yeah. When I am feeling 50, I have to have it exclusive. Oh, that's oh, so cool. That's awesome. That's amazing. So, I think it's good. I think yeah. it's probably really good. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good so way to put thank it. Thank you for but sharing. You can say something like that. I think everybody that comes in, they will come back. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. We have to go. Yeah, Thank you so on. much. Thank you. Bye. Okay. That was great. <laughs> what a guy. That's our friend. This is our friend. So we stopped at this rest stop, and you could tell the guy likes making friends. Because we he talked to him. He was a reporter. Him. He used to own, he bought like a newspaper, pre a newspaper mill and distributed all over Norway. Now he owns this rest stop, and... Sofas Mathis. It's a Thai food place, yeah. and apparently it's like one of the best in town. He wanted to be modest, but it sounds pretty good. How's the chocolate? Oh, it's milky. Yep. Kept it in the refrigerator, which is nice. Mmm. Mmm. Need like a cookie to put that on or something. Like something salty. Successful rest Didn't stop. Have his salt. It's pretty good. It's really good. It's like. Very milky and luxurious. Eight out of ten. I think it gets an eight because I typically opt for dark chocolate, mm -hmm. but it's still really good milk chocolate. Okay. That was a good stop. Great stop. Right, let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have too much stuff. Uncle's got a little ponytail. Wow. She does. Will you show Uncle? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We're going to Dublin today. So this is the end of the Scandinavian vlog. It's a great run. Have fun. Balance. Smart. <laughs> We're gonna try and check our bags before we do anything else because we know they're overweight. So we're testing this theory out. We're checking them first and then going back to the hotel to get our stuff. Success. We're back in the room because we checked in the two luggages and mine was 23, which is fine. Brennan's was 30 kilograms. And we were like, all right, we knew it. We were just like so chill about it. Pulled out the wallet. It was so rich. I wasn't chill. I was stressed. <laughs> it gives me anxiety. But I was like, whatever. We're just, we just have to pay for an overweight luggage. And then he was like, under his breath, he was like, it's fine. And put a red tag on it. And we were like, oh my gosh. It's just heavy. So... We got through another airport without needing to buy another luggage. It was the first time we left, checked luggage and left the airport. So yeah, our, air, our hotel is so nice because you literally walk out the door and the airport is right there. Yet it's so quiet. You can't really hear any airplanes. So highly recommend staying at a hotel airport, airport hotel. There are one or two. Um, so yeah, now we're going to get the rest of our things that we didn't have with us. We're just gonna go walk in like we have no luggage. I, that was kind of our theory is like maybe he didn't fight us on the overweight luggage because he's like they don't even have carry ons to put their stuff in if I ask them to take it out because we didn't have anything with us. I think he just didn't care. Either way, we got through. But it was nice of him. Yeah. All right, let's go fly in Dublin. Oh, more, your pe more of your people. This is a tour of your people. Oh, yeah. That's the right. Scandinavians and then to the Ireland. Yes. Wow, we just need to go to Poland next. Home. <laughs>